Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandra from Diary of an Aussie Mum and today I just thought I'd do a bit of a review for you guys. Now, um, we have only just started trying to conceive but I've actually been using uh, the ovulation test that I will be reviewing today um, for the last three months. That is because uh, we have a 14 month old and I figured that my cycle sort of changed um, since, since being pregnant with him and yeah I've been kind of just using them to track when I'm ovulating in my cycles and live my cycles and stuff like that. So this is the first month we've used them to um, officially try to conceive. So I am reviewing the clear blue digital ovulation test. This is the uh, pink one that picks up your two most fertile days so first i thought that i would just show you um how the how they come in the box so um you get a pack of 10 and uh you get 10 of these little testing strips that you insert into one of these holders and it's really important to actually um keep the holder from the pack before because it gets to know your hormone levels and the first test um, that you insert into a new holder will always have a negative result because it, all it's doing is kind of picking up um, your hormones and getting to know your hormones. So all you have to do is um, look at the little arrows and make sure you insert like this and you hear a little click. And then what will happen is it will think like flash and once it stops flashing it will either have a smiley face if you are ovulating within the next two days or it will just have a plain circle with nothing inside the circle if you are not ovulating um, and now I completely love this and I love it because um, lines can be so confusing now uh, with my 14 month old I only used really cheap internet dipsticks and the lines were so confusing because um you know one day i would have really dark lines and i thought i was ovulating because it was the same as a control line and then it would dip again would go light and then two days later it would be really dark again and even darker than the control line and that can get really really confusing and really frustrating when you're trying to conceive so seeing that smiley face is just it feels more definite you know and Tess is definitely picking up that really strong LH surge and yeah it's just a lot less confusing than worrying about comparing lines on um, just a regular test. Now when you have stopped testing and you see that smiley face or no smiley face just make sure you eject the test. It does say eject there if you can see. Oh. Um, just because you know you don't want to do something that might affect the next test you don't want to confuse the, um, the test reader or anything like that if that sort of makes sense so yeah just eject properly and yeah it'll be good to go for the next day now depending on when your cycle starts um, I start testing from day 13 and my cycles are 29 days long and Every single time I have used this, it's been amazing because I've tested positive for ovulation on day 14, which actually means I ovulate on day 15 or so because, yeah, um, a positive ovulation test only means that um, the LH surge is at its peak, which means you will ovulate in the next 12 to 24 hours, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, it doesn't mean you're ovulating right now. Well, it, that's what they say anyway <laughs> I don't know if you can see but I think I've you can't see I've confused my test because it's got a little book telling me to read the instructions and it's blinking so it's because I've actually used an old stick in the holder so it's very confused so maybe don't do that <laughs> hopefully it'll be okay when I test again if I need to um, so yeah I'm really loving them I find them so much less stressful to use than um, cheapies. Um, the negative, I will have to say, is the price. Um, I got these on sale, I think, for $21, but they can go up to $35. So obviously, um, if you're tight on a budget, um, I 
probably wouldn't recommend them. Um, another thing I would recommend doing is maybe if you're having any issues with cheap internet sticks, um, maybe to confirm if you're not sure about what the lines mean, if they're not dark enough or you think you might be dark but you're not 100% sure, um, like positive, you can confirm with these. Um, that might be cheaper so you can use it over more cycles. It's completely up to you. Um, I think personally they are worth their weight in gold. Um, we'll see how they go this month for us. But um, I completely love them and other than the price I don't see any negative in them whatsoever and I highly recommend them. I know there is like a purple ones that you can get which will actually um, pinpoint your most your four most fertile days so instead of just two like these um, it will pinpoint four they are a lot more expensive I've heard from girls that could be up up to about 40 or 50 dollars so that is a bit too expensive for me so I won't be using them but um, they actually pick up on your estrogen rise um, apparently your estrogen is supposed to rise before your LH so yeah that way it can pick up on your four most fertile days um, but yeah, I'm not reviewing that, so I guess I'll stick to these. But I do really love them, I highly recommend them. Um, I think if the cheap peas are stressing you out, like they were with me, I, I would go with these. Um, obviously, if you can afford them, if you can't keep using the cheap peas. And temping is amazing because stuff like this will only tell you um, if your LH surge has risen, it will not tell you if you've actually officially ovulated. And um, Tamping wheels. So good luck on trying to conceive everyone. Um, I will update you soon on my two-week wait symptoms um, About four days away from testing For pregnancy, so I think in another couple of days I will do a video on the symptoms I've had so far in my two-week wait and I can't wait to share that with you guys And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do um, Because it's a journey I'd love for you to follow us on and thank you so much for watching and see you next time guys. Bye!